Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Maria from Under the Night Moon. And I'm so happy to show you um, these two little envelope like folios that I recently um, created. And they're so much fun. I followed a tutorial and I will leave the link down below. It's kind of an older tutorial, but um, this past month, I have been painting a huge cement, and when I say huge, it's probably almost four feet tall. Um, someone brought me this cement garden statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And so I took on the project um, to just paint it and kind of fix it up and so that they could have it in their garden. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm trying to put some videos on Instagram of the before and after because it's amazing what paint can do. But um, while I've been working on that, I was too tired to make a larger book, but I still wanted to create and I missed my desk and all my fun things here. And so I came across this little envelope tutorial for these little flip these little flip books and I just said that is perfect because um it didn't require a lot of um thought and energy and you can see I made two of them and I can't wait to make another one and um if you want to make one yourself the video or the tutorial that I followed is super easy and um yeah so this is made using three envelopes and let's see this little one is five and a half by four and I printed the envelopes myself and then this little one is just using craft colored um, you know craft envelopes that you can buy just at Michael's so if you have a lot of envelopes on hand this is a great project to have to use them up and how cute to make a little photo album out of this right so, or just like a little day journal, just a little something fun for you to have to keep on your desk, um, just to make you happy. Like right now the pink and just makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and show you how this works. So here are the envelopes. Let me just, and you attach them. So you have one envelope, two and three, and you attach them in a way so that they all fold together. And then I chose to add this ribbon to tie to keep it closed. And you can't really add um, a ton of stuff in these, but you can um, certainly um, put enough stuff in here to have fun. And um, so let me show you the inside first. So inside on the cover, you can see just a cute little shoe. And these little envelopes I printed and then I tea dyed them. And then inside each envelope has a little card. And I put a little piece of lace so you know it's in there. Isn't that fun? And this would be a perfect um, little project to use your scraps. So if you have a lot of like off cuts and things, how fun to make this little folio. And then um, because I'm always, you know, looking for ways to store and add extra goodies, um, I put a little, oops, there's a little glue gun. Um, I added a little pocket on the cover of this one and inside that. So it's a double pocket. You've got the inside pocket and then on top a pocket. And again, just some more really beautiful cut aparts. And then behind this really pretty fan, I put, um, again, some more tickets, little tags and things, labels, just some fun things to play with. And then in the center here, I thought it would be fun. Um, well, there's a little tuck spot on the cover. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. And then I thought it would be fun to have a little notepad. So I put follow your dreams, some pink copy paper that's been tea dyed, and I just made a really fun little notepad and you still have a place for a photo or some private journaling. A favorite quote would be really pretty there. And then I put the little tuck spot on the cover. Um, 
And then this is just a little swatch. I'm really enjoying these little swatches. It's just so precious. And then I just kind of put it right on there. And then the last little, <clears throat> excuse me, the last little pocket here, again, just using a little scrap of paper. I added another little tuck spot here. I didn't go too crazy with the embellishments because you want it um, to kind of close nicely. And as I was working, I had to choose, you know, flat, flat things um, because it wouldn't close right. So that's really um, the only challenge in making these is, you know, <laughs> not adding, holding back. Um, this is a little, um, someone saved this really beautiful, um, piece of french newspaper featuring this hotel i don't know where it came from maybe inside one of my books and so i'm just tucking that in there for the owner and a little calling card and a little label that you can put somewhere that you like so yeah and then um as it folds up i mean you can flip the whole thing over too so you can see here this is the back and then as it folds, you've got here and here, right? So when you fold it, this actually becomes your front page. Hope that makes sense. So let me show you the front page here. Um, this is from the little pile of jewelry that I purchased recently, this gorgeous little heart dangle. And then, um, inside this little tuck spot here a really pretty piece of vellum that's been printed and then just some ephemera pieces piece of embossed rose paper and then the um, behind here is a tuck spot beautiful beautiful uh printables And then on this side here, just a gorgeous little perfume label with some little bits of lace. And then I had this um, just on my desk from the chapter one. So beautiful her papers are. So beautiful. So I added that. And then some tickets, some more um, journaling cards. And then I recently have been making some little yo-yos out of some of my little um, like calico fabrics. Again, just trying to find projects that weren't too consuming because painting this statue just took so much energy. Um, <laughs> it was quite a job. Anyway, so that is the flip through. And then there's the back. So cute. And then, <clears throat> like I said, I just tied it with some ribbon here to keep it all closed. And of course, when you add your pictures, it's going to grow a little bit more. And you've got plenty of room to grow. So that's that one. Let me show you this one next. This one is using um, uh, papers from the Pixie Dust Files. So if you have a lot of her papers and you don't know how to use them or you have off cuts, this is such a great little project to use all of your little off cuts. And I have this one attached with um, just some se uh, seam binding ribbon and I strung it through a um, eyelet here. And then again, you can see the three envelopes here isn't this gorgeous wait until you see this one is so much fun and <clears throat> as i was creating you know just you know not it it didn't take a lot of thought to make these so i highly recommend making them and so you can see here are her beautiful rose um um journaling cards and then same thing inside each envelope is a pocket holding a journaling card with the lace so you know it's there and i used her beautiful florals look how gorgeous these are 
I don't, I just never get tired of using her digitals. Absolutely, every single one is so beautiful and so thoughtfully made. Okay, so inside the envelopes, you have that. And then on the covers of the envelopes, each rose, and I put a little tab here so that you can flip them up. <laughs> can you see already the fun I had? Each one flips up and reveals one of her little cuties. Look how darling these little girls are. And then I did some gold embossing, just a little pink, or not pink, a little flower on the bottom. Behind the rose, each one has a little dress. I couldn't really decorate the dresses too much because I wanted them to lay flat, but you can see I just used a little piece of her paper to attach them just for that extra little bit of pretty. And then look at these little cuties. And here um, I had fun. I bought the, the Dynamo little printer, label printer. So this one says Faith, Hope, and Love. Hopefully you can see like all the little bits. Isn't this fun? So cute. And then these little guys flip up. I had so much fun making this little book. I can't wait to make more. I'm definitely going to be making more. And then inside each little um, envelope is a little tuck spot holding just all of her really fun little labels and tags, little bitty things that you can write a memory on, a prayer for a loved one. Just so much fun. And then each little pocket has been decorated, hand stamped that says dreaming, memories, and precious. And then I use these little tiny roses here, with a little bit of tool underneath, just to decorate each one. This is why I love this channel, so I can show you those details up close, because it's so hard on Etsy. Um, you only get the 10 pictures, and I very rarely am able to capture, like, all the details in my work. So, I love this channel just for that. So, you can see each little girl has her little shoes, her little labels, and her little cut aparts. Wouldn't this be cute if you had three daughters? <laughs> so cute i love this little book like i said i can't wait to make more and so yeah so those all flip down and they um they just ever so quietly hang out there and then the same as the um the little pink book they fold up and so you've got a pocket here holding all kinds of beautiful little labels there's her little mushrooms just love all of her like look at the little bird i just love her digitals so so much she knows <laughs> i think you guys know too how much i just i just love creating uh with her papers and then let me show you it's probably easier if i just flip it over um so here's the back page and then each um each little pocket has a tag, a rose tag. So maybe I should have done it this way. Oops, hold on. So behind each little, little cutie here. So the pocket is from the back paper here, right? I hope that makes sense. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. So it's not the envelope. The envelopes aren't open. The tuck spot is from the papers. And how cute to have each little pocket. One of her gorgeous rose tags. And then I wanted to show you this side because they have this pretty little tab. And so you could write a poem, a story. Again, just look at the beautiful papers here. So gorgeous. So that is that. Like I said, I'm going to put a link below to the... Um, oh, this is a little flip or a little tuck. That's right. And then these go in there like so. <laughs> 
yeah so I will put a link below of the um, tutorial that I followed to make this gorgeous little creation it was very very easy and it's a very popular channel some of you might already follow this channel I'm not gonna say the name because I'm probably gonna not say the name right but um, you'll see right away um, and then you can see how easy they just fold up like so and then this one has the seam binding and on the seam binding I just put some jewelry pieces so yeah, so that is the flip through for these. Thank you so, so much for hanging out and, and watching uh, these videos with me today. Everything's in my Etsy shop. If you have um, already subscribed, thank you. If you're new, thank you so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next video. I have a lot of new things coming up. So stay tuned for more. If you um, don't follow me on Instagram, it's always good to follow me there because I do like little reels and things of things coming up um, if you're interested in following me and my work. So um, just thank you all so, so much. Have a really great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye for now.